Hi you guys, welcome back to Let's Make Up. Um, I've had an overwhelming amount of people asking for the longer videos back because um, I haven't been doing them a little bit more lately and sure, I don't really care anymore so I'm going to give you what you want and yeah, this is a definitely a long video. I'd say we'll be lucky if it's the south side of half an hour. So um, I kind of amalgamated a GRWM, like get ready with me, with a new shift stash. Haven't done one of them in forever. And um, I am going out to meet a friend this evening for a catch up. So I thought it'd be a perfect, so I'm just putting the top back on one of the beautiful lipsticks that I'll be showing you in a while. Um, it'd be a perfect time to get this done. And I have some really, really lovely bits to show you. Um, and I'm trying them on as we go along. So yeah, if you want to see that, just keep watching. And I hope you're enjoying the longer videos again, guys. So I'm going to start off with a bare face because I like to... Um, I'm going to be trying on some of the bits as we go along and um, I want to kind of go through some of the pre-makeup or the skincare bits first and then like kind of put stuff on in order as I mentioned them. So I'll start off with this. I literally just picked this um, up from home yesterday. It had been sitting out there with a few other bits in the post for the last few days. It is by Lancome. It is their Genifique Youth Activating Second Skin Mask. Uh, you get six masks. I'm pretty sure this will cost a fair penny. Yeah, 73 quid for six masks, so expensive enough. But it's long home, so I wouldn't expect anything else. Um, I think this is just mainly supposed to like really help with the quality and the texture of your skin. Ingredients wise, I'd be worried about, yeah. That's the only downside I find to the long home stuff. Even, even a lot of the bits that I like is that there is always alcohol included. Um, it's not the worst, it's like halfway, about seven ingredients down or so. Um, and I suppose with these you only use them, like you wouldn't be using it every day. So I don't mind a little bit of alcohol and those kind of things that you're not constantly using every day. And yeah, I'm dying to see this because like every fucking blogger in Ireland has been using these on Snapchat in the last week. And um, yeah, I was kind of happy when I saw it in the post. So tested on Asian skin under dermatological control, suitable for sensitive skin. So obviously this comes from Asia. Or maybe it was made with them in mind, I have no idea. So that's the Lancome Genifique masks. Um, they are available now, I'm pretty sure, nationwide from August. So there's the press release, which is very uh, Phantom of the Opera-ish looking, which is quite cool. Actually something else that would be done at an early prep stage is, I've actually done a full video on this before where I went on about shaving my face or like removing hair. Uh, I usually have in the past used one of these electronic trimmers, which are great, even though I broke this one. <laughs> so that's a pain in the arse. Um, that one was by number seven. You can't get it anymore. I have another one, which isn't as good. So then I saw a lot of people using these online. Um, I know Julia Graff made a video as well about shaving her face. And she loves these. I was kind of intrigued by them. So basically they are like face groomers or just like face trimmers. I don't know what you're called, what they're called. They have little blades. And when I first saw people using these, I assumed they'd be really sharp blades like you'd get in a razor blade or whatever. But it's kind of serrated and like it won't cut you if you go like that. But it's sharp enough to be able to take the hairs off your face and you do it in little downward motions like that. Um, I use this maybe twice a month. I don't use it very often or, or twice a month or when I see hairs coming up. So if I see a few hairs in my chin that are obvious, I'll literally just get rid of them. I used to have tufts here uh, that I would just see pretty much on camera. That's the only reason I ever started doing this. Um, so here, here, above my lip. I don't do all over my face like some people do, but you can because it's apparently an amazing way of exfoliating. So, um, you know, that's a good way of ensuring you have nice and smooth skin I suppose and it makes it like increases the efficacy of your skincare products because it allows them to sink in better but anyhow I went online and I bought a couple of packs of the Shiseido guys they weren't that expensive now this one here is one of the tinkle ones or twinkle tinkle twinkle I don't know you get them on Amazon everyone uses them and um, they were dirt cheap and then these had much better reviews so I said I'll try these first and see how I get on with these but yeah I really do like that um it does help just with how smooth your, your your face feels. And I am a big advocate of shaving your face. If you're a girl, don't be scared of it because it does amazing things for the skin um, and the skin texture. Then I also, I've already showed this on 
Instagram, yeah, I'm not really blogging. I mean, I, I wrote a blog post as to why I'm not really blogging anymore. Still do my videos and I'm still micro blogging. So I am still doing little reviews on my Instagram and Facebook and I already went on about these. This was sent to me from Pixie, big fan. Um, this is, you know, their famous tonic, uh, AHA tonic, what's it called? They're, I, th I think it's actually called the Glow Tonic. I haven't actually tried that, but this is that in pad form. And I have been using these every day for the last like two, three weeks. So it's basically that glow tonic is on the pads and it's the exact same formula because um, someone asked that and then Pixie got back to me to let me know that that was it. So they're just literally coated in those pads after I cleanse in the evening and tone. I pop these all over and particularly if there's any areas that I've spots in, I'll leave it on for a few minutes longer. It's high concentration of glycolic acid, 5%, and which is like the second ingredient. Um, the third ingredient so there's water then there's aloe vera which is very soothing and then you have your glycolic acid which is brilliant i love seeing those ingredients quite high up because you know that you're getting much pay, pay for um so it has aloe vera glycolic acid and ginseng it also has glycerin and loads of other good ingredients like witch hazel and it's all very clean ingredients i've said that before i really rate pixie because they have such clean ingredients oh is that super overexposed sorry um my phone's ringing. But yeah, I've really been enjoying this because it's one of those rare skincare products that actually does make a difference to your skin. Like I, I felt immediate results. Um, this is not tested, tested on animals as well. So that's really good for anyone out there who is concerned about that. And yeah, just one of the best chemical exfoliants around. Um, I think the Glow Tonic is known for that anyhow. So this is available on QVC and from Pixie Online as well, which is like pixiebeauty.com. Let me just double check. Um, pixiebeauty.com yeah and then in Ireland you can get pixie stuff from is it Beauty Bay? Could be wrong there I think it's Beauty Bay hmm could Beauty Beauty Bay I'm not sure and um, Marks and Spencer's as well does stock it so that's handy to know then let's see what's another skincare oh this lad here by uh, the body shop I went in to get something else you'll see in a sec and I've been suffering from really dry hands and elbows recently actually and even though I do have like the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream and stuff like that. I wanted something that just, I don't know, was a little bit nicer. Um, I've always really enjoyed the smell of hemp. And I went in and the lady actually said that this was the best one for very dry hands. So um, it's the Hemp Hardworking Hand Protector, extra care for ultra dry hands. And I've been loving this. Um, it does smell like a charity shop, which I love. It's a very nostalgic smell. It actually reminds me of like, an old person's house, I know it's a bit mean, but, or even like one of those old houses in, out in the back roads of Connemara, or like out in Bunratty Castle or something like that, just a really lovely, homely, but old smell, I, I love it, I love that hempy smell, some people don't like it, but that's fine, um, I think it's really, really nice, um, I have to be careful not to wear it though when I'm doing makeup, because it can smell a bit musty, and I don't want people who maybe would confuse the smell with me being musty, with my hand cream so I don't really wear it when I'm working but I love it just for around the house or whatever um I think that was nine euros or so and it is a what size 30 mil so really really loving that um yeah I think hanker is one of those things you either love it or you hate it when it comes to wearing it on your body I thoroughly enjoy it um other pre-makeup thing is this guy by Makeup Revolution Sorry, my phone's hopping. Um, the Makeup Revolution Pro Base. This is the Aqua Priming Base. Um, basically, it's very like Fix Plus by MAC. It's a pity they didn't market to make Fix Plus as a pro or a pre foundation base or a spray. They should have done that because that would have made it much like everyone thinks that it's a setting spray, which it's not, as in like a, a like a fixing spray, setting spray, whatever. Um, so basically it has glycerin as the second ingredient which is what really makes it kind of like the fix plus for me because there's loads of other normal water sprays out there but they because they don't have glycerin you don't get that lovely sheen from them um so really like this and it has like some oil and other bits and pieces in with it um but yeah, I've been really enjoying this so I'm actually just going to spritz this on my face. I obviously like cleansed and moisturized this morning. And you can actually be quite generous with this. It even smells, it smells nicer than Fix Plus actually. I don't know what the smell is. 
I am the worst at trying to describe smells. Like I, in my head it'll remind me of something but I'll have no idea what it, what it is um, unless I kind of am told. So yeah, really like this and it just feels really, really refreshing and you kind of feel like you're not doing anything when you're spraying like what feels like water on your face but because it doesn't contain, it does contain glycerin and loads of things like that in it, um, it is doing good stuff. So that's that guy. Um, and I think that's all the pre-makeup stuff. Okay, so why I went into the body shop that day was to pick up the lightning drops. So these are the shade adjusting drops. Because um, if you saw my last video, which I was going on about this guy, I did a full test about the new Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation, which I thoroughly love, but it is about a shade too dark for me. So I decided to pick up these guys um, after looking into what would be something good to pick up. Um, and when I went into the body shop, it was like Friday, I think. Um, it was buy one, get 50% off the second thing, which was great. So I ended up picking up the dark ones as well. So these will be brilliant for my kit. You know, I use this in the kit and on myself, but then this one will be for the kit. So, so handy to have. I mean, if I had this before having all the other foundation I have, I have in my kit, I wouldn't need to use half as many foundations. You could literally get away with having maybe three foundations or four foundations, like with maybe two in each tone, and then just lightening and darkening as you need. So that would be brilliant. Um, so anyone starting off a kit and makeup, definitely get yourself these or the Cover FX equivalent or the Makeup Forever equivalent, like you don't have to get these ones. Um, I think these were 17 euro, is that what it was? And then obviously half price, yeah, pretty sure that was his. Oh, I could be getting that wrong now, but I think it was roughly in around that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try this anyhow with the Catrice foundation, which I already did a full video about, so I'm not gonna go on about that. And then literally one drop of lightning drops because these are, maybe, yeah, I'll try one first and see how I get on. These are pure pigment. So it's not like, um, like I, I'm actually looking at my white face and body over there, it's not like the white foundations you can get where like it will lighten which also change the texture because you're introducing the texture of the foundation in with it whereas these are pure pig more or less pure pigment drops so they're they're not supposed to um they're not supposed to change the texture and oh I probably putting way too much there a big blob came out but anyhow or maybe not, it's looking good. So that's lightened it up about, let's say about a shade. Um, and because these are pure white, even though it almost has like a faint, faint pink cast, it does say that they're like completely tone free. So they're neutral, like it's just white, white. Um, even though if you put it beside a white, it looks ever so slightly off, but um, it's not supposed to change the tone of whatever foundation you mix it with, so it'll literally just lighten it, keeping it on the same tone, and hopefully not change the texture too much. Um, I haven't actually tried them out yet, so this is my first time trying that. And I'm just using the Real Techniques stippling sponge brush, stippling brush. That has made the foundation absolutely bang on colour wise. So I highly recommend any of my pale buds out there to go out and pick up the white and then any of the darker girls can definitely pick up this um the darkening one because there are so many foundations that are always just a little bit off um apparently they do as well bronzing drops so someone was saying that if you use the darkening one on very pale foundations it just makes it a bit ashy um which i can imagine that happening with like a yellow tone foundation so what i would say is Maybe try out those bronzing drops because she said that it'll add a little bit of warmth with it, you know, so kind of counteracting any possible ashiness, 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 <laughs> and um, darken it a wee bit. So I'm thoroughly loving the texture of this foundation, and yeah, it doesn't seem to have been changed at all by the drops. Okay, I've skipped ahead and popped on concealer because there's nothing new to show you there. I already did a video on the Becca Brightening Under Eye Corrector thingamajiggy, so really rate that. Um, I did maybe mention this, I can't remember where I mentioned I got this, but it's the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. I bought this from Ashleen, who is Dramatic Mac here on YouTube, from her Depop. And um, 
was dying to try this out. So when that popped up in my feed that she was selling it, I was like, buy straight away. Um, so delighted to try that out. And I have been loving this recently, like really loving this. Because I wanted to see if it would rate it in any way close to the Laura Mercier one. And I genuinely think it's brilliant. Um, more glittery, but not in like a really obvious way. It's not like you, it looks, how do I put this? Like it is a little bit glittery up very, very close but it's not very, very obvious. And I use a fluffy brush to apply it rather than, like the brush that came with it was shockingly shite. <laughs> that tiny little guy. Um, whereas I'm using the MAC, oh my God, this is so, oh no, it is 225. This is discontinued, but it's somewhat similar to the Inglot 4SS or like any fluffy brush would do. Um, but I'm, I just love it. I've been really liking this powder, really brightens the eyes, um, almost too much. So. I just can't complain and like it doesn't make it really dry and creppy so it, it is very very similar to the Laura Mercier one now I wouldn't use this in my professional work um not even just because of the price but more because I'd be worried about the glitter in it would probably not work really well with flashback now I know the Laura Mercier one has a tiny bit of shimmer almost or something in it but that's I've used that in a lot of work and I'd be very comfortable using that. That one's fine. I just wouldn't chance this one, but I love using this on myself. So um, I just use this underneath the eye and over my lids as well. It's nice to set any concealer above the lid. And I like to put a little bit just down the center of my nose as well. It kind of acts as a bit of a highlight. So it's great, really, really nice stuff. Now the only downside is that there's very little in it. Like the Laura Mercier pot is a lot bigger than this. Um, this is like 5 mil or something, not mil, what is it? 1.2 grams, isn't it? Yeah, 1.2 grams. So 0 0.04 of an ounce. Like it's basically like a sample size. But I think the whole idea is that you're, you use so little that, I don't know, it should last you a while. Even though I tend to like pop it <laughs> as a highlight kind of all over the face. So I'm probably using more than you should, but it doesn't cost a bomb. Um, so... I think it's grand, but yeah, and you can see how bright my under eye area is there. So really, really enjoying that. Um, I don't know the full price. I think someone said it was $10. I don't know, is that right? Um, but I was delighted when Ashley sent me that. She also sent me this as a free gift along with it. Um, it's the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Did I try this on out on camera? Was that on Snapchat? I get confused. Oh no, I think it was on my Instagram. Yeah, I'm doing kind of like the more makeup related stuff like as in the pretty kind of makeup related stuff over my Instagram um, rather than Snapchat I'm keeping Snapchat more just for the everyday stuff or like I bit, did a big long rant about disinfecting your brushes but I just don't think that's like a pretty part of makeup so that's why I did it on my Snapchat anyhow I'm sure less makeup on both of them I did try this out and I, I enjoyed it but I'm not gonna wear it today but um, as far as it goes for these kind of um, what do you call them, felt tip eyeliners, it seems to be decent and it is a nice colour, that, that midnight blue, so it's in the colour midnight, um, which is quite aptly named. Now, I have some lovely bits from Pixie to show you, and these are the new, hold on for it now, the new Multibam 2-in-1, yeah, so I think these are for like lips and cheeks. Wear alone or blend together to create your own custom shade. The cream powder formula is infused with shea butter to nourish. To use, simply glide onto your lips and dab onto the apples of your cheeks. Contour with defining shade sheer sculpt. So, we have, let's see, five colours. Yeah, so that sheer sculpt is literally a sculptor shade, which I'm looking forward to trying out. I'll try that out now. We also have the soft strawberry, which is like a red shade. We have Baby Petal, which looks more natural, um, which is that one. You have Wild Rose and Watermelon Veil. How gorgeous are those? Um, I think I'll do swatches of them and show them on my Facebook. Yes, possibly. Let's see, what will I try now? Um, I'm gonna try the shade first. We'll see, I'll try two of these now. But these look class. Um, so yeah, I won't show them all like up close now. I will show them on my Facebook or my Instagram very, very soon, possibly even before this video is up. So I'll link to that below if it is there. Um, 
I haven't powdered yet, obviously. Okay, so that is a lovely neutral, um, not neutral, but yeah, like as in, it's a lovely ashy shade, which is what you want for contouring. You do not want anything too warm, particularly when you are fair. So already I'm loving this. And that really blends out such a lovely natural contour. Okay, so first impressions of this is that this is class. Now the only downside for me when I'm blending out cream contour is that spots that I have concealed tend to pop out again. Um, and that's one of the downsides of always getting spots on your cheeks. But sure, what can you do? I think it's connected to my stomach. That is a lovely contour though, like really, really natural. Um, decent, really, really decent. Okay, um, and then we'll pop a little bit down the side. Oh, I shouldn't have powdered there. Oh well, hopefully this will be fine. I'm gonna pop a little bit down the sides of my nose. I'd say you'd be better off applying this maybe with a brush, especially as you use it a little bit, but let's see how we get on. So I more or less just go around the side of the most narrow part of my nose and then bring it straight down, which means I'm cutting through the slightly more bulbous tip. But as long as I keep it fairly straight, it tends to work. And then I'll just go in with the concealer brush I used earlier on and blend that out. Uh, cream contour is brilliant for the nose because it really will be very, very neutral, very natural. I'm also going to apply a little bit of this, even though I know I did contour, but I'm going to apply a little bit there into my crease, the eye crease. Yeah, that's lovely. It's not too warm at all, so it works very, very well as a nose contour as well. So I'm very, very impressed with that. Next, I think I'll go in with this fella here. Yeah, this is the Wild Rose. Um, again, it may cause havoc with my cheek spots, we'll see. I want to keep, I want to use the cooler shade because it'll be less likely to draw attention to my spots. So I'll literally just draw that in and then blend it out. Possibly should have done this before I applied the other powder because I think I brought that down quite far, but uh, it'll be grand. I like the texture of this, it reminds me a little bit of the MAC ones, the creamy, the new ones that came out that weren't as emollient as the old ones, if that makes any sense. But yeah, that's a really lovely natural blush. I'm sure you could like build this up and even if you use your fingers maybe you'd get better coverage. It wouldn't blend it out so much but that gives a really lovely natural kind of youthful flush. Um, so I like that. Yeah, I think I'll enjoy these. I do like the look of them. Um, I love those for kind of just everyday wear. And I'm just going to powder kind of the central area of my face and anywhere where I tend to get a little bit shiny as the day goes on. I did replace this, which I'm using now. It's the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder. Love that. I, I think I um, featured that in my last favourites. And that's all the powder I'm going to use, which is rare for me, but that's because I am going to set it in place with, no, not this, I already showed that, with this, which is the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix. So I have the Pro Base here. I think they were about seven euros each or eight euros each. And I also got the Pro Fix. So this is the Oil Control Fixing Spray. And this really does, you can feel it like, um, like setting on your face, the kind of same way you would uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A hairspray. So I'm just gonna and I genuinely don't need to powder when this is on because I used it with powder uh, when I got it and it was almost too much so I actually prefer this without powder unless you're quite oily then maybe you could use powder. Now one thing I forgot to say is that the lovely girls at Pixie sent me a whole second set of those 
um, multi bands. So I'm so excited that I can give them away to you guys. So I've explained before why I don't like to do YouTube giveaways, but I have all five of these that someone can win and I'm gonna do the giveaway on my Instagram and Facebook. So hopefully that will be enough for everyone to, to um, you know, if you don't have an Instagram, you'll probably hopefully have a Facebook and vice versa. It's just too much hassle on YouTube. So I will link to that below. I'll put that up um, around the same time as this, I'd say. So you can enter on my Facebook, which is Let's Make Up, or on my Instagram, which is Shiv Let's Make Up. And, um, you know, you've been with an equal chance of winning on both of them to win a full set of those and one person will win those. So yeah, I'm not sure of the rules as I'm filming this, but it'll all be explained in those posts. Okay, quickly, let's move on. Um, what have I left to show you? So why do I have a feeling that I got a new mascara recently? I need to have a look for that. Okay, I must have invented getting a mascara. I'm sure I got one though. All right, it'll probably turn up somewhere. Um, one thing I did buy, I renewed this guy, which is the NYX Liquid Black Eyeliner from the collection Noir. Um, I've actually featured this in loads of favorites, so um, it's kind of nothing new, but my old one had totally, oh no, this has one of those annoying hairs that goes crazy, I'll have to cut that off. But anyhow, my other one had totally dried out, so it just has this lovely, lovely teeny tiny nib, and yeah, definitely needed to get one of them. Not too expensive, I can't remember how much that is, but Boots in Galway is actually about to get the full massive NYX stand, which I'm so happy about, because at the moment in Ireland, we have a very, very limited, teeny tiny stand, like teeny tiny stand, um, but it's coming into Ireland now. So in, I know the Boots is, the Boots is, the Boots in Dublin, like a few of them, have the big, big stand now, and it's massive. So um, I was talking to the girl who works in Boots in Galway in on the Smashbox counter, and she said, it's gonna be beside them, it's gonna even be bigger than theirs. So that's good for us. Maybe not for the girls at Smashbox. Okay. Um, something that I got was, I think I showed this on Snapchat. It is the Zoeva Black Box. And um, this contains four of their best eyeliners. I love this. Oops. Now I'm not gonna talk about this much now because I will be doing a full video on this. I already filmed like first impressions and wear tests of all of these. I just haven't filmed the entire video and like edited it. But it contains, the Calligraphic Black, the Soft Coal Noir, the Graphic Eyes, Graphic Eyes Plus in Black, black to Earth, and Cat Eye Pen Blackest Black. Um, I didn't buy this, I was actually given it by the girls in Matt and Flaherty's because Matt and Flaherty's in Galway, which is beside Brown Thomas in Galway, like on Shop Street, are now stocking Zoeva, and they're the only shop to be stocking Zoeva in Ireland at the moment, which is amazing. So they gave me this, there will be a full review coming up on this very, very, very soon. And um, I think it was like 24 quid or something, really, really affordable for all of these. So really love these. I did already give um, a preview, I think, on my Snapchat there a while ago, which obviously is no good because it's gone, but there will be a full video on those coming up soon. Um, what else did I get new? Oh yes, these. I picked these up the last day in Boots as well. They are the 2-in-1 Brow Filler Pencil and Brush by Soap and Glory. I've spoken about how much I love these. These are a dupe for the MAC, like fling and lingering and those kind of brow pencils, the little ones that twirl up. Um, I already have these in my kit, but I needed to replenish. Well, actually the blonde one I didn't need to replenish yet, but I got one just in case as a backup. I use these instead of the MAC one and the Smashbox ones, which I used to use because they just cost a bomb compared to these. These are only 11 quid, whereas the other ones are like 24 odd quid or something. So this is the color Hot Chocolate and I love it. So you literally, it just twists up and then twists down, which like the MAC one does not twist down. So this is way better. And it also has a spoolie on the back. Another way that it's better than the MAC ones. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like the MAC ones, but I think you're kind of gypped a little bit because there's so little product in them. And you can break it easily because it will not, um, I don't know why they don't fix that, but it won't go back down. Uh, it only goes up, but it doesn't go down, whereas this one does go down. And I only put a tiny bit through my brows now because I don't do my brows very heavy at all. Actually, even lately, I've only been using gel on them, like mascara, brow mascara. I don't use any, I haven't been using any pencil really too much. Um, especially since this was living in my kit. That's why I wanted to get a backup so that I could have one in my kit and one on my makeup table. But you can see how natural that is and it just adds a nice little bit of definition. Um, I believe there is a third color. I was told that last time I talked about these on a video, but we don't have it in the Boots and Galway. 
So for anyone who's watching me, not from Galway or who hasn't been, Galway is a lovely city, it's great crack. I think it was actually um, voted the friendliest city in the world, which I very much believe. It's full of culture, full of arts, it's very, it's just the coolest city ever, but it's bloody tiny. And it means that all the shops are, are pretty small. We've no massive, massive shops, um, including our boots. So all our stands are very st small. That's the whole point of my little story. Um, we tend not to have a vast, like, variety of anything. So that's why I only have the two, um, the two shades of this available to me, which is Blonde Shell, which is the blonde one, and then Hot Chocolate, which is that. But popping that there in my own little stash. I'll do my lashes in a sec. And then the last thing I have to show you, which I already showed on my Instagram. So unless you saw my stories, it'll be gone, but there is a picture of these up on my Instagram with a little bit of information. Um, these are from the new Scandal collection by YSL. Look at this, it's just gorgeous. It is the Rouge Volupte, Volupte, Volupte? Shine. It is the Oil in Shine, I think it's, or oil, yeah, Oil in Shine, Oil in Stick, I think it's called. And it is in the color Aracrap. I think it was Rosé Saint-Germain, if I remember correct. Oh yeah, flip it, I shouldn't have thrown away the box because um, it's not written on it, but I'm pretty sure it was Rosé Saint-Germain, if I remember that correctly. And this is just this beautiful, beautiful, cool-toned pink, but it's very, very emollient. So look at that, so, so pretty. It's nearly prettier to look at than on, but um, just look at that packaging, it's just divine. About 33 quid, I think these are. Um, but it is YSL, so what do you expect? I mean, oh, I just want to look at that forever and not use it. So then I also got one of the matte ones. Um, and I like this because it's not a dry, dry matte. Can't for the life of me remember what the name of this one was now. Which is annoying. It's number 62 though. And it is one of the Rouge Pour Couture's... Uh, Rouge... Ugh, I can never say this right. Rouge Pour Couture. And it's the mattes. And this is number 62. So this is much more coverage, as you can see there. And I'm gonna pop this on for you now. So it is a matte one, but it has like a bit of a sheen to it. It's not like a dry matte. It's not like the Retro Mattes by MAC. Beautiful color. It's a real like, rose. Yeah, like a real like wild rose kind of color. And I will fix that up in a sec with a lip brush and I'll do my mascara off camera, yeah. But I think that's the last of what I have to show you now. Yeah, that's everything I think for today. Pretty sure, I, I'm always forgetting things, but pretty sure that's everything that I have to show you today. Um, this is new, it's one of my own jewelry pieces. It's a little necklace that I made, which I do love. It's um, silver with one of those Hamsa charms, which are so cool. Um, and that's on my Etsy store, but that's my very long shift stash. I mean, you need to ask for it, so there you go. And yeah, that's it for now. Go check out my Facebook and my Instagram for the giveaway to win these five gorgeous products. And um, I'll just see you all in my next video. Until then, take care. It's fine, guys.